Who's the cutest girl in the world? Say it's me! <laughs> You simply won't find any girl in the world cuter Come on. <laughs> than two-year-old Ivy Edwards. Here she comes. Her personality is bigger than life. She is so joyful. Uh, she is so loving. She is so curious. Um, and she she's just the darling of the family is what we call her. She's our little darling. She really is. That big personality was born in a whirlwind. Ivy's mother Amanda and her husband didn't expect Ivy's diagnosis of Down syndrome, nor the heart defect that came along with it. I mean, my husband and I were crying. We had no idea what to expect. Um, and so Sunday afternoon comes around. Our baby's only a day old. We're thinking, is she going to live? Is she going to die? We had no idea what was going on. At first, the answer was relieving some of that anxiety, which Amanda remembers started with a special icebreaker. And Dr. Sharma comes in and my husband is watching football and so immediately they start striking up a conversation about football and then he turns and he just says he just has this confidence about him just like this gentle confidence that you feel like he's going to take care of everything dr sumit sharma has been a pediatric cardiologist at east tennessee children's hospital long enough to deliver these words confidently. And he told us, he said, I'll let you know when you need to worry. Dr. Sharma took the newly minted parents' weight off. And a lot of it is just trying to walk them through the process and let them know that this is what we're going to do. This can be a stepwise methodical approach and, and comfort them and answer their questions. You know, you want them to be relaxed. He says talking to Ivy's family about football was just a simple way to break the anxiety and reassure them that everything was going to be all right. I always tell parents don't Google this. I always tell them that, and, and I tell that because I, I Google what, what, what's out there, and it's scary. It's scary what, what's out there. I tell them, I'm like, you know, if you got questions, come to us. We'll, we'll talk to you about it. Dr. Sharma works to develop trust with his patients and his presence in the community. Every year, he runs the Butterfly Run, which benefits East Tennessee Children's Hospital. He's also a member of multiple boards of organizations that help East Tennessee. It's not Clinch Avenue Children's Hospital. It's East Tennessee Children's Hospital. It's, it's, it's the whole community. And so being out in the community shows that, hey, we're not in a silo here. We're part of this bigger community that we serve. And we can only do that through help from the community. Donors help fund important, life-saving equipment Dr. Sharma uses every time he treats patients. The donors allow us to advance technologically with buying new equipment, you know, stay on the forefront. So yeah, every dollar helps. Um, but I, I think more importantly, you have a choice when you want to you know, when you want to donate your money. You know, and if people are donating money here, it's their choice, and it's the reason why we can do what we do, and, and we thank. <laughs> the Edwards can't thank Dr. Sharma and Children's Hospital enough. Their family get-togethers have never been the same. Seriously, it's very funny at our. Um, holidays and other things, we'll toast to <laughs> Dr. Sharma and we'll toast to East Tennessee Children's Hospital um, because really without them, we don't think she would be here today.